Ladies and gentlemen, this May the Council of Europe will celebrate its 75th anniversary. Over the past three quarters of a century, our organization has worked to promote peace in Europe, based on common standards in human rights, democracy and the rule of law. During that time, we have helped our member states to overcome many barriers and transform the lives of millions of Europeans for the better. But these are troubled times for our continent and the wider world. And it is essential that our values apply to the new and evolving challenges we face. At our summit last May, European leaders made clear their determination to do this. They recommitted to the fundamentals, to the implementation of the European Convention on Human Rights, and the execution of the final judgments of the European Court of Human Rights. But they also supported a range of new measures. These include Reykjavik principles of democracy, by which to measure and therefore address the health of our democracies. New instruments on human rights and the environment, given the triple planetary crisis of pollution, climate change, and the loss of biodiversity, and a new cross-cutting, legally binding international treaty on artificial intelligence, one that will ensure that AI upholds human rights standards rather than undermining them. This treaty, negotiated with a range of European and non-European partners, will be opened for signature later this year and will have a potentially global reach. Bien entendu, notre sommet a également abordé une autre priorité majeure et urgente. Le Conseil de l'Europe est solidaire de notre État membre, l'Ukraine. C'est pourquoi les dirigeants européens ont adopté la création d'un registre des dommages pour l'Ukraine pour consigner les pertes et les dommages causés par la guerre d'agression menée par la Fédération de Russie et servir de première étape nécessaire à la mise en place d'un mécanisme international d'indemnisation. Le registre commencera bientôt à recevoir des demandes d'indemnisation et contribuera à garantir la responsabilité nécessaire à une paix durable. Chers amis, les défis qui nous attendent sont nombreux. Mais trois quarts de siècle après la création du Conseil de l'Europe, notre travail reste crucial pour la paix sur notre continent et la dignité de tous les Européens. Et notre détermination demeure absolue.